Home is where the heart is. Home is where the start is. See, I'm going to be a doctor when I grow up. I'll study at Oxford or some other place where I need straight A's. You know, from there to London. See what the hype's about. And to a poor country. You know, try and help out. I want to make a change to the world as I see it. Drug deals, joyrides, guns, gangs and ganjo. I was 12 years old when I first rolled the joint, but I don't see the point of destroying my brain when I can make it stronger, work faster, think quicker. And right now it might not seem cool to my brothers and you, but I would rather be in school. See, my dad works long hours to give me a chance. There's more to life than this, he says. It doesn't matter, it's far from here. Take the leap, jump, no fear. And maybe one day they'll talk about me. Make some of myself. Make them see. If you're from where we're from, there's always summer going on. Bastard books. <laughs> Night classes, once a week. Different skill each week. You should go to uni. Why? I've got enough. I've always worked and I'm dragging up two kids. I'm not sure they could teach me how clever with a brain like this. <laughs> what would I study? I hated school. Chaucer. Pythagoras. Shakespeare. Playing the fool. Yeah, well, that doesn't help at 8.15 when I'm trying to scrub my jumper clean because Sammy Joe spilt sauce for the sixth time today. I've got to get to work. Drop them off on the way. There's no way King Leah's going to help me now. There's a scream at the kids to come down. Grab your shoes. Have you got your coat? Here's your bag. Don't ask about the useless dad. It's a bloody madhouse. It always is. I don't know anyone who's on their own with two kids who does it perfect. Whose house is clean. Mine looks like a murder scene. But it's mine. Well, the council's. And the kids are mine too. And somehow I know that we'll make it through. No matter what it takes. Or if I'm late. Or if I ate stale toast for tea last night. I'll just battle them. For them and for me. To make our own the best it can be. <laughs> Seventy-eight years on this road. Never thought I'd grow old on the same street I was born. Moved houses three times, but still stayed on this strip of tarmac where I played as a kid. Seen much change on my little road. Old faces, new faces, come and go. An injection of colour and a shift in culture. Always morphing and changing for the better. Well, not always, but we stay positive. Change is inevitable, whether we like it or not. And I'm not going to be the winder on the block. <laughs> Mavis was the one. When I was young, a woman my age lived at 32. We called her a witch. If you pass her house, you'll be cursed. She had a black cat. But other than that, we'd no reason to think she rode a broom round her cramped cosy little front room. <laughs> I hope that's not me. Hope that's not what the kids these days see when they walk past, spit on the path. I'd offer them biscuits, but you're not allowed now. Generosity is creepy. I like to think I'm the queen of the street. <laughs> I've earned it over the years. Man's home is his castle. These curbs are my kingdom. I look from my lawn and oversee my little country, my whole world. Contained in our little road. Man of few words. Man of few words. That's what they say. Welcome by the community. Open arms. They wish me no harm. 
beg me to stay. <laughs> the lady at the centre says I'm part of something, not on my own. Never alone. Though I love my own space in this wonderful place. Busy and lively. No one comments on race. I don't get told to go back or spat at. We accept and respect. Try to live peacefully. One city. Our differences are many, but our similarities too. Think about what unites us. That's what we must do. Work together to build a safe place. A happy space. <laughs> where we can grow old. <laughs> Have our stories told. <laughs> Man of few words. But bags of ambition. <laughs> to thank our gods for this city we live in. Last time around. No one's seen him for weeks. He struggles, you know. His mind, it plays tricks. But he still gets his milk and daily news fix. He's a big bloke. Or at least he was. As strong as an ox. We all get sick and tired sometimes. But he's still one of mine. They all are.